The DD trap assay provides the ability to obtain a sensitive, robust, and highly quantitative measurement of telomerase enzymatic activity in cells. The ability to run up to 96 samples per run in a medium throughput fashion offers us a great advantage. We can run the controls and replicates for proper statistical analysis on the data collected. Immediately prior to cell lysing, thaw a frozen aliquot of NP40 lysis buffer. Once thawed, place the lysis buffer on ice. Add PMSF protease inhibitor to the NP40 lysis buffer to reach a final concentration of 0.2 millimolar. Then, add 40 microliters of the lysis buffer to the tube containing a cell pellet to reach a cell equivalence of 25,000 cells per microliter. Gently pipette the lysate up and down in order to break open the cells. Try to avoid making bubbles. Allow the cells to lyse on ice for 30 minutes. Gently vortex the lysate every 10 minutes to prevent clusters of cell debris from forming. During the cell lysis, prepare a master mix in a microcentrifuge tube for the telomerase extension reaction and store on ice. After the cell lysis, pipette 48 microliters of extension master mix into each PCR tube. Add 2 microliters of diluted lysate to each PCR tube to reach a final cell equivalence of 50 cells per microliter and continue the telomerase extension reaction according to the manuscript. Prepare a master mix in a microcentrifuge tube for the DD trap and keep it at room temperature. Pipette 19.8 microliters of DD-PCR master mix into each PCR tube. Add two